Hello everyone and welcome to the Atlanta Open Series. I'm Glenn Jones, joined on the sideboard by Chris Anderson. Good morning. It's the last standard open yep. of the Innistrad format. It's Before gone forever. This out. is the last chance you have to play with uh, a, a lot of cards. Right, yeah. Uh, I, hopefully no more Jund for a while. <laughs> yeah, we'll cross our fingers yeah. that the absence of Thrag just gonna we'll you, you know, yeah. gives us a break. Right. You actually opted to go with a deck you're a little better known for playing in a yeah. different format. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely not the same deck, but uh, yeah. Yeah, playing elves today. Um, I was planning on actually playing a green-white life gain deck with like uh, Rock's Faith Benders, Trading Post, Chalice of Life. Uh, like Jerry built it earlier in the week, and he's okay. like, I, I really didn't know what I wanted to play. So he's like, well, if you don't really care what you want to play, I've got this spicy brew for you. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, and I played some games in the last night, and I was like, Nope, 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 nope. It was really clunky. Uh, so um, my friend Ryan, who I'm staying with, uh, said he had an extra elf deck, and I was like, hmm, four elves visionaries? Yeah, I guess I can do that. I, I, yeah, I'm sold, so i uh, playing elves today. Yeah, you're, um, you're easy to trick, I guess, yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> is the moral of the story. Show me an elf visionary, and I'll do just about anything you want me to. All right, so um, this deck is very similar to the deck we first saw, the Turbo, the Hyper Mana deck, I should say, that, uh, that Huey played into the top right, eight yeah, in New Jersey. Yeah, it's pretty much that deck. Uh, so you've obviously got a lot of Garricks. Uh, when we first were mm -hmm. playing with this deck, we used to call it eight Garricks. Okay. That was just the name of the deck sure. for us. Uh, but your, your core is the mana. You've got right. four Arbor Elf, uh, you've got four Elvish Mystic, you have Avacyn's Pilgrims, mm -hmm. Elvish Archer, and even the Visionaries that you just mentioned often yeah, function as like, mana alongside yeah, your Yeah, with yep. uh, And that accelerates you into your large threats. So right. tell me a little bit about those. So yeah, the deck does two things very well. Uh, the first thing is make five drops on turn three. So Colonial Hydra and Wolf or Silverheart. Uh, Wolf or Silverheart is actually one of my favorite cards in standard that nobody plays. I played it yeah. in Naya for a little while as a one of, and it was really good. Uh, but this deck use, utilizes it even better. Uh, you could just, you know, get an eight eight on turn three, or get, or actually, it's more of a twelve twelve on turn three. You know, sort it, of, yeah. yeah, it's twelve power worth of guys. And you can get an 8-8 Trampler on turn 3, and that's going to be more than a lot of decks can deal with. Uh, so yeah, you get 12 one drops to accelerate you into that. Uh, you can go turn 1 Elf, turn 2 Elf, turn 3 uh, Hydra. You can do turn 1 Elf, turn 2 Archdruid, turn 3 Hydra. Uh, you could also do turn 1 Elf, turn 2 Ar uh, Archdruid, turn 3 Garrick. Which, yeah. yeah, that gets you up to six mana. So uh, the deck also runs four Garrick. I can't remember his name. Color Garrick. of Beast. Color of Beast, that's yeah. the one. The, the big Garrick. Yeah, big so Daddy. you run... The, Garrick's the only spell in the entire deck, so you have like 30-some creatures, I think. Uh, there's 22 lands, four Garrick, so... 36, is that right? Does that sound right? It sounds close. 34 creatures. Yeah, 34 creatures in the deck, so his plus one is very potent. Um, you also can minus three him and just drop a Crater Hoof into play. Okay. Uh, you also have some synergy, which obviously the the best green white land we've seen in quite some time. Uh, Gavany Township has been very good, and uh, yeah, and Hydra Gavany Township. Uh, once again, thirty four creatures. Super in the deck. real. <laughs> right. Lots of mana accelerators. Gavany Township is so good. You, you play four of them. That's how good it is. You know, it's yeah. almost more of a spell than a land in this deck. I think. A lot uh, of if games. If you were to cut them, you'd probably want to cut some number for spells. Sure, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, a lot of games wind up with you, you know, stalling when you don't have a threat or when your threat dies right. or you can't land a Garrick and you just have all these elves. Mm -hmm. And Township obviously yeah, turns into real threat. Uh, something yeah. very, very different very yeah. quickly. Uh, moving on, you're supplementing the creature base a little bit. Uh, you've got Lox and Spider kind of as this in-between yeah, two of uh, Lox and Spider on turn two is just really powerful, and it's very easy to do with 12 one-drop accelerators. So it's sort of like a, a backup theory yeah, on the, I, I, the theory of Fat Man very fast. Right, basically. he's the last card in the deck. Most uh, sure. Like, if you were to cut something, it probably would end up being the Smiter. Uh, but he's just good, you know? 4-4 four, four on turn two is really good. Um, Makes sense. So oh yeah, the second thing, obviously, the deck really does really well is uh, drop a crater hoop and then play. Yeah. Unlike few decks in standard, well, with Umbera rights around, I guess it's kind of a competition, but yeah, no one's really doing that anymore. Nobody's We're really doing that. Yeah. yeah, if you can Umbera right something, it probably doesn't matter what it is. You usually win. Everyone so. but Brad is off. Why bother hard casting? <laughs> uh, but you can legitimately hard cast it with this deck. Yeah, pretty very easily. Obviously, Garrett can, uh, Druid does a lot of work to being able to cast that card. Uh, Garrett minus threes it into play really easy. Um, and uh, you've got, yeah, tons and tons of mana, guys. So you can usually put it into play on turn five as long as they're not killing all of your guys off. Sure. So, and that's usually enough to win the game. As these decks uh, sort of get more and more linear towards the end of standard, you know, mm -hmm. we've seen Jun not really do that well in the past few standard right. events, which is one of the decks that can really threaten this one. Yeah, with they play the tons dance. of removal and they play Bonfire of the Dam, both very scary things for me. Yeah, decks uh, like Aristocrats and Green Red Aggro sort of have pushed Bonfire of the Dam away from the format, right. it feels like. Correct. So, 
it means you kind of can feel a lot better about this choice, especially mm -hmm. in the last week. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's a good choice for this week only. I don't know if it was a good choice last week, and obviously there is no next week. <laughs> but uh, I think Jund would probably start resurging in a couple of weeks if there was more format sure. to be played, just the cyclical way of things. Uh, but I think for this week, uh, Elves is a really good choice. Okay. Well, last but not least, you have a sideboard card that's actually been showing up a little bit more and more in right, standard, I yeah. noticed. Every week, I feel like I see more copies yeah. of this card in top 16s, and it's Pay No Heed. Yep, Pay No Heed. Um, obviously, it's a great answer to Bonfire of the Dan, but are there yeah, any other sure. specific cards you're um, planning to use it on? I mean, I don't... Like, Bonfire's definitely the big yeah. one. Enemy uh, number I, one. I suppose Mizzy Mortars also does a similar Bonfire thing. Bonfire Pardue. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for the most part. Um... Other than that, I don't really think so. Um, like, I would like to use it in something like uh, the Hexproof matchup if I could target sure. them. But, <laughs> yeah, that's not realistic. So, uh, I don't know. I, I definitely put it in there for Bonfire. Uh, as the day progresses, though, I might find some other uses for it. But, I don't know. It is, you, you do have to use an entire card for it, and the ability usually isn't worth yeah. the card. So, with the exception of sweepers. So. Well, I'd, I'd encourage you to use it in the, the Hexproof mashup. Sure, yeah. But it doesn't say target anywhere on here. Oh, it you does say target. Okay, somebody told me choose. it said target. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah then I'm going to play it Somebody almost did you dirty. I got yeah. you, Chris. I'm right wow. here. Come. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll let Chris get back to pay no heating armed at some uh, unflinching courages yeah, uh, later on in the day. Uh, thanks for joining me, Chris. Yeah, Good thank luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm.